You know, I just never imagined I'd be in the mountains with my family in Wyoming doing a cattle drive. Airstream's first prototype. All right, this is day four. Yesterday was a rest day for the animals, so they just kind of sat where we left them uh, out in the back property there. <laughs> so this morning we are getting them out of there from around the river and then down the road to start the uh, up the mountain. Mm -hmm. There goes the cowboy right now. <laughs> cowboy. <laughs> Justin will like that. <laughs> oh, they saddled another horse. So, saw Daisy. so they're saddling up a horse for the girls and I to like trade off riding today. We have a only like five miles to go, which yeah, isn't a huge so amount, insane. but the area that we're taking them, the cows don't normally like feel the need to move much at certain years. So we're gonna see. Sometimes it takes a short period of time and sometimes it takes like 12 hours to move them five miles. Is this the gas line? Make sure you tip your attendant. <laughs> this is the first day the girls are driving us somewhere. Go first. Right? We're going first. Ready? Look at all their trails that go up that mountain. I'm not sure how clear we were uh, when we started this morning about what the plan was, uh, but I'm back here. I just charged some batteries. Basically, we drove them from way over there by the river and then up on this ridge here. They came across this road on that ridge and then we're going down this road for about five miles. They've already started going down that road to get to a holding pen before we bring them up the mountain. I think the girls might be on horses at this point. I, I hope so, because they're super excited about that. This is such a fun experience. Driving around these, these hills and valleys is awe-inspiring, and I, I hope this drone footage just like, somehow conveys it. It's absolutely stunning here. This is the moment Lily's been waiting for, for a year. Pretty cool time to ride a horse. It's about time you joined the party. Doing stuff. <laughs> now it's my turn. So 
today's task was to bring the cattle five miles down the road to a holding pen before we take them up the mountain tomorrow. And today's a long day because the cattle don't have a lot of grass in the holding pen where they're going. And if they push them in there too fast this morning and they don't get to eat on the way, then they'll be hungry when we let them out in the morning and they'll want to graze and not move up the mountain fast. So, we're just hanging out with some cows. All the cattle are at the holding pen for the night and there's a couple spots in the fence that need some fixing so Corey's getting a great lesson in fixing fence. So that one snapped, right? No, this is kind of a communal pasture. Yep, we're just on the other side of the toast. Keep going. Keep going. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. He gave you the toughest one, babe. Yeah. What's up with that? But look good how job. good I did it. You did so good. Oh my gosh. Hey, come, sure. come look at this. Look how good this is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, coming from a mile that's what I was thinking. <laughs> All right, good morning. So this is day five. I think we mentioned it yesterday that day four was a rest day. We did, right? No, day three was a rest day. Day three was a rest day. <laughs> yesterday was day four. Um, so they are currently in a holding pen up the road about four miles. So we have to trail them down the road another two miles. And then we go up the mountain to where they graze for the summer. That's all I know. We're yeah. getting filled in as we go, yeah. so we're gonna we're just along for the ride. But it has been it's a been really a lot of fun, great fun yeah. ride. The girls have learned a lot. They're both in heaven. So Layla talks about side by sides all the time, and the fact that she's been able to drive one pretty consistently through this has been amazing. Yeah. And Lily was like running on a horse chasing know, cattle yesterday. It? My lip, I think it's getting better. It's getting better. Rip the chunk off of that barbed wire. <laughs> At least it's like better than my throat being cut or something. That could have gone a lot worse, so we're super <laughs> thankful that it wasn't an eyeball yeah. or across his neck or needing stitches. So, so it's, it's I think it's five. It might be five in the morning now. Um, so I'm looking forward to the sunrise. Mm -hmm. It's always beautiful around here. Everything just lights up. It's so green and... And Dana made homemade donuts and cinnamon rolls last night. So we actually still get donuts and sunrise at the ranch. Oh yeah, it'll be, yeah, by the time we get up there, yeah, it'll be breakfast time. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it, but those are all the cows down by the road. So we're up here just making sure there's no, um, none of the neighbors cows in this pasture as we bring them up through here and up the mountain over there. Look at this, it's just, we're up in the clouds, it's just stunning. So yeah, all those cows will be up here pretty soon. Man, I don't know if you can hear all those cows. It is insane. Cause I feel like we're so far away from them. I keep saying it, but look at this landscape. We thought we'd lost you. Yeah. I was like, where the heck did he go?
Okay, so we're taking a little break from chasing these cows. Got a good little vantage point. Listen to them. Me and Lily. Now, Layla and Jess, uh, I think they are taking a horse trailer up the mountain, which is, I think, just over that right there. All right, along with everything that's involved with moving all this cattle and getting horses and getting people to help out and making sure that everything goes smoothly with that, there's logistics of getting the trailer up, all the horse trailers up, so that the horses can come back down the other side of the mountain and that everyone's got enough vehicles to get back. So Layla and I are driving a horse trailer up like about 45 minutes to an hour up the mountain to meet everybody with the cattle on the other side. So we're at like nine o'clock. We were, we've been up since four and the cattle should all be up in the mountain by the time we get up here. Oh my goodness, this is straight up. Roadblock, hi baby. Hi baby. You don't like me getting near your sheep? Hi, Mr. Goat. One of these things is not like the others. Look at this cloud rolling in. We may not actually see them come up the mountain at all. <laughs> I'm sure those cowboys can see me right now and they're probably just like, what is that guy doing? <laughs> Lily's gonna make sure that these things go in the right direction. Get them, Lou! They need to be going up that way. to look at. Where's the third one? Oh, is it a fawn? I'm pretty sure that's Airstream's first prototype. They've come a long ways. How'd you do? That's the worst part about this. What? These these cattle dogs they end up being, being separated. separated. I know. I don't like it. Oh my gosh. How was that? We're all fogged up over there. I know. Can't see much. There's like a huge herd of sheep over there that we drove through. So they have sheep no shippers people. up here. Sheep shippers. So what line of work are you in? Well, Palma, I am in sheep. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what you mean. I am a sheep shipper. <laughs> that little hat? Someone knit them this hat, so this is Cody and Ben's color tag <laughs> on their cows. Oh my gosh. We're on cow counting duty. <laughs> so as they come through out of the, the trailing, we have to count bulls and heifers to make sure that we've got the right numbers. Thank you. 
All the cattle's here and before they're released into the pasture where they're gonna graze for the next little bit, all the moms and babies have to match up. So it's called mothering up. So they're waiting for all of them to mother up and they'll slowly start letting uh, pairs go out of moms and babies. That's why they're being so loud. So the moms and babies are calling each other until they find each other. Moms and babies that have already matched up or mothered up are getting moved over to this side and they're gonna release them into their pasture and that allows these guys that are left over to find their babies. If you can't be on horse duty, is it good to be on baby duty? Oh, yeah. Aww. Aww. Oh, Baba. Beautiful. So sad. He's like, I was so happy sleeping. All right, all the cows are where they need to go, and our day is wrapped up, and we are exhausted. So we're yeah, I'm hungry. going home. I guess I forgot to eat one. Corey and Layla are on the other four wheeler coming, and the horses and the horse trailers and everybody else are driving behind us. Okay, let's go home. Okay, that was a long day. Yeah. That was a lot in. of fun though. I think we covered like 35 miles round trip. They're the hardest workers I have ever met before. It's ridiculous. Because of the way the weather has been this year, not only are they doing this part of their summer, which is a huge portion, moving their cattle and getting all that taken care of, but they're also in the middle of haying. Filming. Huge process. They have multiple fields and there's different steps that they have to do. And so they've been working round the clock, like sleeping like two hours a night. It's unbelievable. And we're just really thankful that we get to be a part of it. So uh, more to come at the ranch and we'll see you guys soon. Good morning. Good morning. So this is the final cattle push that we're gonna do here. They sat for a little while. Now they gotta go to where they gotta go for the summer. Honey. Hey, honey. honey, I need you to come narrate this sunrise. Tell me how beautiful it is. No, you gotta get in front of the beautiful. camera. Beautiful. No, 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 get in front of the camera. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's like fire. Come on, we gotta get I have to load the truck now. Gotta move it, huh, babe? Yeah. Is that gate open down there? Juan just opened it. Okay. I think I'm gonna drone for a second and then okay. go help some more. Actually, Layla, you can help. You can pick up the rear if you want, Layla. that Justin's telling us, turned at the second steel post. <laughs> That's it. Are you joking? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, those trees over there? Yes. That's our pasture. Ah, okay. So they're actually bringing the cows along a different path than normal, and most of these cows have done this trek for many years, so they remember where they're supposed to go. So we have a couple spots that we're blocking, with vehicles um, as well as kind of just standing by the gate that they're entering because they've never done this before. So we are counting bulls right now as they enter and uh, the girls are on horseback and four wheeling to herd. Hi babe. <laughs> Hi Daisy. How's your morning going so far? <laughs> Is this like heaven or what? Yeah.
All right, I'm sitting here. I'm the gate closer. That's my job for right now. <laughs> but I'm sitting here and I'm overlooking all this action down below me. I'm watching my girls work. Lily's on a horse. Layla's on a four-wheeler. I mean, I just never thought, you know, I just never imagined I'd be in the mountains with my family um, in Wyoming, you know, doing a cattle drive. Never thought we'd be involved in something like this. It's just incredible. Um, it's such a blessing and, a, and such a good experience for the family to be here and experience all this. I can't really describe it. Um, I think we've been trying this whole time we've been here, but I don't think we've been able to really do it. I hope we're able to convey some of this experience. And I understand everybody can't do this, but I just hope that we're able to share it in a way that you guys feel like you're part of it. I like how you're filming your film video. Look at this gay guard. <laughs> Oh man, my gate closing duties are about to be fulfilled. The gate is shut. You shall not pass! Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Well, I guess this looks fun. <laughs> All the guys are telling me how how good Lily's doing. They're surprised how little she's ridden, how good she's doing on such a tough trail. And just knowing what to do with the cows. She's doing so good. It allows me to come up here and do nothing. Take photos and video. <laughs> this is it's crazy and loud that is junior junior is almost 90 years old and he was recently inducted into the cowboy hall of fame he is the real deal it looks like Corey's just in the middle of the cows. Problem is, is they're coming from here. We gotta round the corner and get them into here. And the mothers are trying to get at the calves. Keep coming, Lady. Yeah. Gonna go have some lunch? Mm -hmm. These guys lunch. are amazing. Mm -hmm. Alright, the scale of this uh, this little operation that we've been involved in has, has blown us away. It's a total of like 50 miles. I don't really know because you're zigzagging through the wilderness and over mountains and stuff. 
And it's really been kind of hard to describe while we're on the trail because I'm always just like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> There's no, there's no other reaction. I'm so to have, happy to honestly. be a part of this, and I am. Like that's literally like. But we're feeling. We're so happy to be part of this, and it's blown us away. I feel like we're in a movie, constantly. All like, the time. All the classic movies, and I'm gonna bring up. You know, I say westerns, but like I'm gonna bring up two Australian movies. These are like movies. Australian movies that we so compare Australia, to. So uh, Australia, I just feel like the Drover, uh, <laughs> and uh, Return to Snowy River. I'm in Return to Snowy River. Like it's <sighs> it's crazy. The the landscape is just incredible. There's cowboys everywhere. Like yeah, it's it was literally like a childhood dream. Need. That's right. <laughs> Not a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> You're my cowboy. You're my Drover, honey. Oh my gosh, the confidence level is is changed dramatically i thought it was going to be a disaster our first 10 miles on the first day <laughs> where i ripped my lip open and my head open um as that's healed by the way because this is this has been over a few weeks, weeks um and i just i think i'm just going to put it all together into one after that first 10 miles and all that those disasters we didn't have any incidents and none zigzagging back and forth Probably How many miles do you think that is? A few hundred miles. A lot. We've, we've driven over that terrain yeah. and nothing it's else crazy. happened. So it's just bad luck that first day, I think. Besides our own confidence, it's been so cool as parents to watch the girls' confidence change from just being like observers at the beginning, which I mean, it's all all of us could do at the beginning because we didn't know what we were doing. Just jumping in anyway, just possible, knowing what to do, and knowing what to do exactly. Like it was incredible when we left on this journey. That was a priority for us. We wanted the girls to gain confidence as they were growing through these teenage years knowing that they can do anything that they want to as long as they put their mind to it and as long as they work really hard and then the second part of it also fits into this experience that we want them to yeah. to know how to give back and to understand the importance of it and to also understand the rewards that come with like helping other people it's just been I, I can't even describe as a parent what it's been like to watch the girls go through this experience and grow so much um, one of my favorite quotes is that you only get 18 summers with your kids. And as Lily gets older, those those numbers are dwindling quickly. And I think it's really hitting home that they're going to be heading off into their own some days very soon. There was one time during the drive this past week where both of them were on horseback, like walking away from Corey and I. And I took a photo of it because it was just like startling to me that that's coming very soon where they're going to be like, heading off into the wild, wild unknown. And that's coming very rapidly. And I I can't express my gratitude for the experiences that we've gotten to have with them on this journey as we have very few summers left with them. So we're gonna wrap up the night and celebrate the end of the drive with a fire. Yeah.